hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. What did you just look at this? The sun is out and the water is so clear. You can see, well, see seaweed's almost touching the top over there, but yeah, it must be what? Three meters deep here, it's kind of low tide, but you can see the bottom crystal clear. So what I'm gonna do this morning, it's about 10-ish, something like that. I'm gonna grab the paddleboard, look at that. And I'm gonna paddle over to the beach over there, and then there's a little walk up to the top over there. Made it to the top over here. Well, the top's over there, but I've gone down a bit more. But look at this. Now, the plan today is I'm gonna go back down for a swim, obviously. Um, but I'm gonna head out of here. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. There's shooting going on. Loads of bangs. There's a firing range over there. So that's what that boat is out there. Uh, he came around in the morning and asked us all questions on our plans. And uh, there's a couple more dotted around the corner. Um, but it's basically an exclusion zone. So you can see where that sailboat is. He's kind of following north up to Lowest Cove, obviously. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's apparently three miles off that way, and then you can just head to the headland. So I think that's what I'll try and do with the current. Um, it'll probably be under engine, unless the wind does a little bit more than it says it is, but it'd be a beam probably. We'll see. You can never plan these things properly, especially when there's no wind, but when it's the daylight today, I do not mind. Looks wonderful. So, yeah, and then if we get into Stutland Bay, we'll have a nice night there. Uh, shouldn't have too much swell coming in, hopefully. And then on Friday, there's good wind to get into the Solent and up to Cows. So that's what I've got to do, because I've got to get there for the race. So if I can grab the tide going up with the wind on Friday, then I should be good. So, yeah, but the closer I get, the better, really, because then if I have to motor, I have to motor. But I think there's plenty of wind and the race weather. It's looking pretty good for southwesterly, so pretty standard race. Uh, good wind, not massive waves, which is nice, especially for a small boat like me. And uh, yeah, hopefully I do well this year. My brother's joining me, so that we be a crew of uh, just me and him. So fairly lightweight. I've got rid of the dinghy like I did last time. Uh, fairly lightweight. I'll probably empty some of the water tanks and uh, whatever else I can get rid of. Uh, try and keep it light as possible. Uh, and see what I can do.
spin in for my swim. Lovely. Shower bag, just had a shower as well, get all salt off me. And uh, that thing was probably too hot for a shower. It's been in the sun all day. Um, I think we're gonna head off now. We've gotta go three miles out and then cut in. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up the paddleboard, just clean up the boat a little bit, pull anchor and head off. Look at this, there is enough wind to sail into it. We're pinching, it's coming from out over there. So we're pinching a headland, we're just, just inside the exclusion zone, but the current's good, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, this is definitely far enough out. You can hear them shooting every stuff over there. They're definitely more over that side, so this side should be fine. I think those yellow boys are like the inner area, so as long as they don't go in there, we should be good. We're also with a couple of other sailboats out here that are on the same line. Doing about four and a half knots here, so that's pretty good. Pretty good going. Save some fuel out of water time to work. I'll probably pull that thing out of the water. Oh, can you hear that? That's them shooting. I still need to have some lunch, so I'll probably make that up, put the tiller pilot on and uh, do myself some lunch. That's the benefit of having a, a tiller pilot. Right, the wind has dropped off. We got maybe two, two and a half knots of wind. Even apparent is seven, but that's just me motoring, so it's gonna be like that wherever I go. So I've just left the main up just for a bit of stability. I don't know if you can see that on the travel there's a little blue streak. There's like a un underwater, like mound that extends all the way out to round over there. You can see all the breakers all the way around here. There's that way over there was beaten into all of those waves. It looked quite rough for him. Look at that boat there. Let's go and zoom in. Yeah, that boat over there looks like he's having a fairly rough time. I can kind of see the breakers from here. Um, but actually close uh, in, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, it's a little rough. I just went through that stuff. Proper choppy. Didn't take any waves over the front, no spray, so it wasn't too bad, but... And the current was helping us through, so it didn't last too long. Maybe five minutes of uh, jumping over tops of waves, but yeah, not too bad, really. made it to Studland Bay. Look at this. Just look at this. I don't know if you can see. I'll look on this side. See the seagrass? Maybe? Seagrass is there. You might be able to see it. And then all of this seagrass area kind of like extends out down there, up there a bit. See where all the sailboats are? That's where you're meant to anchor, where all the motorboats are. So you're not meant to anchor because they've made this this voluntary anchoring area um, to protect all the seagrass, which is pretty good. The reason why I'm here is because I've got a shallow draft, so I've managed to anchor in the sand, although I'm over the seagrass. So if we look up the front, my anchor is there in the sand. Seagrass kind of goes, goes down there and somewhere over there so yeah pretty good spot and the tide's probably going to go down about a meter uh, so i still won't hit the bottom and damage any of the seagrass so even better but look at this beautiful Second to breathe, my far flowing. 
Right, that's the sunset. Got a little bit of swell, but it's not really that bad. You can kind of see the Isle of Wight over there, all the way off in the distance. So I've got to head back there, probably be going through there on Friday, possibly. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, well, stay tuned for the rest of the trip, and then the race. My brother will be joining me to crew, so it should be quite exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. You must be blinded by the light. Watch it look daytime in the night We bring the vibes here